Move with the left to your lifted, and then lead from your right core, sliding or lifting the right leg back, and make the right knee strong. The right leg strong, and to the back of the body, twist to the left, push the sitting bones into the feet, and take the tailbone backward and down, take the navel, chest and shoulders forward and up, and expand the belly, chest and throat, forward, chin up, breathe into the abdomen. Get a sense of pushing your sitting bones into the feet, relax the pelvic floor, take the tailbone backward and down, the belly button forward and up, chest forward and up, shoulders forward and up, elbows up and back, soften your face, check the fingers can move, shoulders and neck can lengthen and free, breathe into the abdomen, chin in. Bend the right knee, turn the right thigh in, push the pubic bone forward, and bend from the spine, not the hips, hips, not the head. Shift the weight to the left leg, and come to the ball of the right foot, take the arms forward and up. Pubic bone lift, optionally lift up the right heel, and then bring down the arms. Soften the throat, face and eyes, and lengthen the back of the body. The back of the body lengthened. Expand the belly, chest and throat, forward chin up. Then bend from the spine, not the hips. Bend from the hips, not the head. Push the hips forward, palms flat. Fingers grip. Push the hips forward, lean the palms and bring the chin in. Soft, throat, face and eyes, palms flat, chin in, fingers grip. Lift the lower back, upper back, and expand the belly, chest and throat. Lean on the palms, raise the heel. Push the sitting bones down, top of the hips up, lengthen the lower back, ribs up, lift the upper back. Expand the belly, chest and throat. Breathe into the abdomen. Perhaps the legs lift and come back to a kneeling plank position, like I'm doing here. If you're not comfortable kneeling plank, come just try briefly in this position. So whenever I see kneeling plank, you can kneel if you wish like this, lengthen back. Then whenever I say cobra or up dog, the back long and expand the belly, chest and throat. This can be a simple upward facing dog. Lengthen the skin of the lower back, we call this a simple downward facing dog, here or kneeling. Repeat that, or this time, with the palms flat, fingers grip, squeeze the heel of the hand inwards and lift the upper back, make it wider. Lengthen the lower back, push the pubic bone toward the hands, make the lower back longer. Palms flat, fingers grip, stay there, or keep the elbows where they are and move the hips and shoulders forward to the kneeling push up, soften the throat. Face and eyes, then come to the simple cobra position. Elbows in front, push down with your feet. Those who can't be in the cobra, kneel and expand the front like I showed, and then expand the belly, chest and throat. Breathe into the abdomen. Soften your throat, face and eyes. Release. Put the hands under the ribs and lift the lower back. Come back to the kneeling plank and push the hips to the hands, armpits to the thighs. Breathe into the abdomen, lengthen the lower back. The sitting bones down, knees up, come back to the downward facing dog if you can, and gaze at your navel. Sitting bones down, top of the hips up, lengthen the lower back. Ribs up, lift the upper back, and expand the belly. Soften the throat. Bend the knees, then raise the head, and come to a cross-legged position between the hands, if possible, lean on the palms, lift one or two legs, breathe into the abdomen, and then lower back down. Lengthen the wrists, soften the throat, face and eyes. And then from this position, lean back, if comfortable, onto your elbows. If this is not comfortable, lie on your back. Now, if possible, from that position, lift up your knees to the chest. I'm going to ask you, if possible, to straighten the legs. If your hamstrings are stiff, this may not feel comfortable, you may wish to bend the knees. If it doesn't feel comfortable in the neck, you can lie on your head on the floor. If really not comfortable, put your feet on the floor and rest. But those who can, half sit up, straighten the legs and relax the feet. Check fingers and toes are soft, let the blood drain. This also lengthens your back and engages your core. Check the neck is relaxed. I repeat, lie down if it doesn't feel good. Then. Circle the ankles. Circle the wrists if comfortable, and this mobilizes your ankles and brings blood back to your body. Also, if you're strengthening your core, 
while being able to be relaxed and breathe into the core. Soften the throat, face and eyes, and circle the other way. Not circle just the ankles, circle knees and hips as well. Feel the neck relaxed, breath relaxed. And what we're also doing is preparing the back of the body to bend forward. Soften the throat, face and eyes, release, bend the knees, and carefully sit back up. And from that position, lean back a little bit, bend your knees, put the heels with the floor and pull with the heels, like you're trying to drag your mat towards you. And from that position, sense, lengthen the back, expand the belly, if the shoulders are comfortable, and push the pubic bone forward as you go forward. Keep the eyes on it. Back expand. Front expand. Navel forward and down. And keep doing this movement if you wish. This mobilizes the spine. Go smaller or bigger. And if you feel there's absolutely no stress, bring your armpits closer to your bent knees. Armpits closer to your bent knees. And if there's no stress at all, Take the armpits to touch the knees. You can stay here and you can bring the head down and the hands on the floor. If you want, again, if the head, and those flexible enough could straighten the legs. But they mustn't be straight. Notice my hands are past my feet. Notice that my head can easily touch my knees with no strain. So don't grab your feet unless the head and knees could touch by themselves and there's no strain. Otherwise, knees bent, hands on the floor, Head down. If there's absolutely no stress and the head and knees can touch easily at the moment, then perhaps you can hold the heels, pull the hands against the heels, and push the hips into the heels. Keep the back long and expand the belly, chest, and throat. And then bend the knees and come back up. Belly expand, chest expand. Lift and lengthen, bend the knees more, and come back down. And once again, do this back expand, front expand, and relax. Lean back a bit if you can. And as you lean further back, you'll feel your abdomen engage. See if you can firm the front while softening the sides. That comes if you just breathe naturally. Now stay doing this. Or, if comfortable, make a fist. Palms flat, fingers grip, hands under the elbows, shoulders. Then push the shoulders forward, palms flat, fingers grip, then bend the knees slightly more, round out the length of the lower back, push the shoulders forward and if comfortable lift up the hips. Shoulders forward, pubic bone up, expand the belly and chest and if comfortable lift the throat to the ceiling, shoulders to the hips and allow the head to go further back only if comfortable. Don't just let the neck drop, think expand the belly, lift the throat to the ceiling taking the head backwards rather than just letting it drop. It mustn't feel uncomfortable. Palms flat, fingers grip, shoulders toward the hips, breathe into your abdomen. Lengthen the skin of the lower back and push the pubic bone up, bring the chin in. Shoulders forward, make your lower back come to the floor first, then release and lengthen the wrists. In that position, adjust so the legs are comfortable in a simple cross-legged position. And again, lengthen the back of your body. Expand the front. Relax. Twist to the right side. Look toward me, left ear lifted. And arms forward and down. Then lengthen the right side of the body. Soften the throat, face and eyes. Back, expand. Front, expand. Back, narrow. Front, narrow. Soften the throat, face and eyes, and stay here, feeling freedom in your fingers, your neck, breathing naturally. Stay here, or keep the sense of the back lengthened, lengthening the right side and twisting to the left. Those who wish, make the right leg go back behind you, either bent or straight, easier like me, and take the left shoulder toward the inner left bend, when you're comfortable. I emphasize again, keep the back long, Navel twisted to the right, the right side length. Stay here or if comfortable, left shoulder, inner left knee. And only if the legs are very flexible, the left leg could straighten and you can take your right arm to the outside of the left foot. In this position, 
get a sense once again that you're pushing your sitting bones apart. Relax the pelvic floor. Lengthen the lower back by pushing the top of the hips back. The upper back by moving your ribs in. Soften your neck. Move your shoulders apart, relax your throat. Lengthen the fingers if they're in the air and grip with the fingers if they're holding your legs. Breathe naturally into the abdomen. Look down, bend the knees slightly and push the navel to the right to come back up. Then adjust the legs back to the front and bring the right arm over. Expand the back of the body, lean back. Expand the front, change your legs if you wish. And lift up. Press on the feet, pull with the heels slightly. As you come up, once again lifting the lower back, anchor the sitting bones. Expand the belly and twist your left. Arms forward and down, look over the right shoulder, twist to the left, lengthen the left side of the body, lift and lengthen and adjust, making the back expand, front expand, narrow the back, narrow the front. Stay here, lengthen, relaxing, checking the fingers, wrists are free, shoulders, neck are free and the tummy can breathe, stay there, or take the left hip back behind you, either leg bent, or the leg straight is easier like I'm doing. Keep twisting to the left and do the sitting bones. Stay here. Or bring the right shoulder inner right bent knee. Stay or deepen the posture if you wish. Keeping the the back of the body. Lengthen the left side of the body. Left hip down, left shoulder toward the chest, passing here. And perhaps twisting the navel to the seat. If the right leg easily straightens with the knee and arm fit touching, then maybe you can take your right hand to the right inner heel, left hand to the outer right foot. To emphasize again, keep the back of the body lengthened, turn the navel toward the ceiling, lengthen the left side of the body, and if comfortable, expand the belly, chest and throat. Soften your eyes, breathe naturally, be calm, lengthened and relaxed. Still calm and quiet in body, breath and mind. Look down, bend the knees slightly, and keep the navel twist to the left as you bring the legs back to the front. Press the feet, lift the spine, and then bring the arms back in front, and lengthen the back of the body. Adjust the front, change the legs if you wish, lift up, and come arms forward and down. From that position, lean back, adjust the feet so they're comfortable, and then from that position, get a sense that you're lowering back onto the floor. Lower back calmly, keep the knees bent, and if comfortable, back flat to the floor, bring the chin in toward the throat, stay there, rest or lift the pubic bone. Take the shoulders toward the ceiling, close to your hips, rest on the upper back. Bring the chin in and press the neck into the floor. Relax your jaw. Roll down a little bit and up a bit. Find the nicest place to rest on your upper back. That's the right place to you, for you. Then from there, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Flatten the back to the floor, tailbone down last. Then again, lift up, second time. Pubic bone up, expand the belly. And stay here or interlock the hands behind the back. Bring the shoulders together by leaning on the left shoulder, take the right shoulder under. Press on the right shoulder, take the left shoulder under, make sure your neck is calm, relaxed still. Now press the wrist into the floor, press the head into the floor without moving, and then expand the belly, chest and throat. So your head stays on the floor, but you try and expand your belly, chest and throat. So your shoulders and head are on the floor, but your neck slightly lifts up. Breathe into the abdomen. Release. Again, come to the first bridge position, resting on your upper back, chin in, neck back. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. And then again, lift once more if you can. Repeat this first bridge, or if you wish, interlock into the second one. Those who can, make a fist, bend the elbows and bring the palms under the shoulders. Palms flat, fingers grip. Stay there, or lift like an upside down, half push up, 
double-legged lunge, and lift the head off the floor with the elbows bent. Make sure the head is off the floor, elbows above the wrists, then move the armpits over the wrists, move the sitting bones toward the toes, and expand the belly. Mean, bring the lower front ribs inwards, the lower belly inwards if you can, and breathe into the abdomen. Feel as if your feet are comfortably in the position you've turned up. Try and turn the thighs in. Subject to your neck and knees and back feeling calm. Don't attempt to straighten the elbows in the beginning. It's better to keep the elbows bent and make sure there's no sense of discomfort in the neck, shoulders or thighs and knees. One more breath with the abdomen. Relax the face and come back down. Lengthen the back of the body. Flatten the lower back before the tailbone and stretch the wrists. And from that position, lift the knees up, bring them towards the chest, grab the shin bones and pull the knees in. Then press the head into the floor, the top of the hips into the floor, expand the belly. Pull down and out with your arms, push in and up with your knees. Make that happen from your core. Belly, chest, throat, expand. Pubic bone, knees, push away. Breathe into the abdomen. Stay on the floor or, if comfortable for you, Push the pubic bone, knees away and half, sit up. Toes down, hips up, bend the elbows, chin in, neck back. Stay here or on the floor. Let go if you wish and relax. Not comfortable, go back to the floor. Then, knees to chest, left leg up, right knee bent, and bring the hands onto the right shin bone, pull the knee and armpit to touch, turn the left thigh in and press the inner left thigh to the floor. Then everyone back with the head on the floor. Head and top of hips pressed down, expand the belly, chest and throat. Then from that position, soften the face, calm the eyes. And half sit up again, those who can, stay on the floor, those who wish, chin in, neck back. Lift the tailbone, let go, head on or off the floor, knee in. Make sure your neck is calm, breathe into the abdomen. Both legs close. Right leg up, grab the left shin, bring it close, knee and arm keep touching, turn the right thigh in, press it to the floor, and everyone the head on the floor. Press the head on the top of the hips down, expand the belly, chest and throat. Breathe into the abdomen. Stay on the floor, or again, knees sit up, toes on the floor, bend the elbows, lift the hips, let go if you can, head on or off the floor, left knee in, both knees in, and one more, grab both sheets. Everyone head back on the floor, head and top of hips pressed down. Belly, chest, throat, lift up. Breathe into the abdomen. And then I simply safely roll to the right side to sit up, although it's safe to do so. Push the toes down to the floor, bend the elbows, lift the hips, chin it in, neck back. Let go if comfortable. Not comfortable, please lie down, roll to the right side, sit up. Or from here, hips and shoulders forward. Sit up calmly, smoothly, and then stand back up at the front of your mat, carefully, and then from that position, lengthen the skin of the lower back, shoulders forward and up. Keep the back lengthened, then expand the belly, chest, and move your throat forward, chin up. Breathe into the abdomen. Pubic bone up, arms forward and down. Stay relaxed. Once again, back lengthen. Shoulders forward and up. Keep the back lengthened, then expand the belly, chest, and move. Throw it forward, chin up, soften the forehead, calm the eyes. Keep it going up, arms forward and down. Lengthen the spine, not the hips, raise the heels if you wish. Lengthen the hips, not the head. And then carefully sit on the floor, lean on your hands, and lift up the legs briefly, cross the legs. Make the legs crossed, so the heels are in front of the knees if possible. Getting a sense that you'll not be close, feet away, and pull the knees. Pull, and that would be heels. And from that position, get a sense that you lengthen the back of the body, take the arms up, expand the belly, chest, and throat, pull with the heels, and get the sitting bones and arms forward and down. Make sure your knees are safe, adjust the legs if not. Back expand, and twist to the right side, and with the navel down on the right side. Look toward me with the left ear lifted, and then lengthen the right side of the body. Expand the front, twist to the right, and bring the navel down to the right side. Touch the floor with the right hand, left wrist and right knee. Turn the navel to the right, look over the right shoulder with the right ear lifted. 
Anchor the sitting bones, expand the back, expand the belly, chest, and lift the throat slightly. Now start to turn the navel to the left side. Twist the belly and pull the arm to the left and look over your left shoulder, left ear lifted. Lift up the back, then move the navel down and forward. Twist your navel to the right side. Bring your arms to the right, but keep looking toward me with the right ear lifted. Lift taller. Then, left arm to right, bring the right arm under the left. Lengthen the lower back, upper back. Lean back. Change the legs if comfortable. Pull with the heels. Lift up. Pull with the heels, anchor the sitting bone. And belly expand, chest expand. Throat forward, chin up. Anchor the sitting bones and lift up. Breathe into the abdomen. Twist to the left. You go down the left side, but look toward me with the right ear lifted. Then lengthen the left side of the body. Expand the front, soften the throat. And then again, navel down. Touch right arm to left knee, left hand to the floor. Twist to the left, turn your navel to left, and look over the left shoulder, the left ear lifted. Anchor the sitting bones, lift the back. Expand the belly, chest, and lift your throat slightly. Now twist the navel to the right. Look to the right side, right ear lifted. Soft throat, anchor the sitting bones. Bring the navel forward and down. Now twist the navel to the left. Move the arms to the left. Mm, then lift the left arm under the right. Lengthen the back of the body. Expand the belly, chest and throat. Cross the legs the other way. Slide them slightly forward. Anchor the sitting bones. Expand the back. Pull with the heels. Expand the belly, chest and throat. And bend to the spine, not the hips. Keep the chin up. Then bring the arms down and head down last. Soften the throat, face and eyes. Pull with the fingers, pull with the heels. Anchor the sitting bones. Expand the belly, chest and throat. Forward chin up. Keep the shoulders where they are. Pubic bone up, navel down, shoulders down, chin in. Then from that position, keep a sense of anchoring the sitting bones. Keep the back lengthened. Expand the belly, chest and throat. And come up once again. Come fully back up. Back up, anchor the sitting bones, and expand the belly, chest, and throat. Anchor the sitting bones, lengthen the back, and bring the head down, neck back. Repeat that five more times, or lean back, and expand the belly, chest, and throat. Round out the lower back, and bring the head down, neck back. Repeat that four more times, or lift the feet up if you wish. Expand the belly, chest, and throat. Soft face, round up the lower back, head down, neck back. Repeat that three more times. Or palms on the floor, feet on the floor, lift the upper back. And expand the belly, chest and throat. Breathe into the abdomen. Round up lower back, upper back, head down, neck back. Repeat two more times where you are. Expand the belly, chest and lift throat forward, chin up. Lift the upper back high. Throat forward, chin up, expand the belly, face soft. Head down, neck back. On the floor, in the air, one more time, lift the back, expand the belly, chest and throat, upper back high, chin up, lift the outer loops. Soften the face, calm the eyes, head down, neck back, lift up high, then release. Lengthen the back of your body and turn the shoulders in. Lengthen the wrists, keep the back long, eyes on the, keep the back long, expand the belly, chest and throat, then if comfortable, straighten your legs for a moment. Spread the toes, tighten the knees, and bring your legs back to a comfortable seated position. If comfortable, bring the feet close, make sure there's no stress. Sit in the position of comfort, even a chair, a bolster, anything. Anchor the top of the hips above the seating bones, ribs in. Lengthen the skin of your back, shoulders forward and up. Keep the back long, and expand the belly, chest and throat. Draw your lower abdomen in slightly, lengthen the back. Turn your shoulders in and bring the chin in, neck back slightly. Back stays long, anchor the sitting bones, hands out in front. And repeat, lengthen the back of the body. If comfortable, head down, neck back. Back stays long, take up the arms, anchor the sitting bone. Expand the belly, chest and throat forward, chin up. Breathe naturally into the abdomen. And then anchor the sitting bones, pushing the back. Bring them front to narrow. Expand the front of the body. 
relax, bring the arms back in, soften the throat, face and eyes, arms forward, upward and outward, relax the neck, shoulders, fingers, lengthen, relax, arms backward, down and inwards, bring the hands close without touching, see if you can feel the heat of the blood between the hands, outward, forward, check the fingers can move, shoulders relaxed, abdomen soft, the sitting bones anchored, relax, lift the crown of the head, anchor the sitting bones, relax the pelvic floor, relax the abdomen, pause. See if you can feel the heat between the hands. Check that by moving one hand up, one hand down. If your circulation is good, you should feel warm or energy between the hands and calm in the body. Now bring the hands back to widen. Touch if you wish, wrists on the knees, and create length and relaxation through your body by pushing the sitting bones down, tuck the hips back, lengthen the lower back, ribs back, lift the upper back, move your shoulders apart and widen the elbows, lengthen the fingers, then relax your pelvic floor, drop the hips, relax the abdomen, armpits, relax the neck, face, jaw, eyes. Be still, totally still, Close your eyes and be here and now, still, calm and quiet in body, breath and mind. And you can stay in this position for as long as you wish. Or after a little while, you can lie down if you wish in a comfortable position and finish your practice like that. Stay 